If you'd like to randomize a quiz in Storyline 360, you can do so using a question bank. A question bank is a container for quiz questions. You can put your quiz questions into the bank and draw them out when you need them in your course. This would allow you to reuse questions multiple times throughout your course, shuffle slides in a quiz so learners don't always see the questions in the same order, or draw a random subset of questions for a quiz from a larger group. In my course here, I have all of my quiz slides already created, and they're in a scene with an intro slide and then a series of quiz questions. There are 17 quiz question slides here. To put these into a question bank, I'll come up to my Slides tab, choose Question Banks, and create a new question bank. I need to give it a name, and then I'll select OK. From here, I can create questions from scratch by adding graded or survey questions, but in my case, they're already in my project, so I'll import the questions already in this project. I put all of mine in scene four, so I'll scroll down to scene four and include all of those, remove any slides that don't belong, and then decide if I'm going to copy the questions into the bank or move them into the question bank. I'm moving mine into the question bank. I don't need them to remain in scene four, so I'll select move questions into question bank and then press OK. I see all of my questions in that bank, and if I look back over at scene four, they're no longer there. All I have is that intro slide. In my example, I had 17 quiz questions. Suppose that I wanted to pull out just a subset of those to be part of a final knowledge check. I'll come back to my slides tab, go over to that question bank dropdown, and do a new draw from my question bank. That pulls up the draw window, asks me which question bank I want to pull from. In this case, I only have one, so that's the only bank that I can draw any questions from. Do I want to draw them randomly? And how many questions do I want to include? I'll choose eight questions that I'd like to draw. And I can also decide if the question should never, always, or randomly be included in the draw that I'm creating. So I'm going to draw eight random questions and select Insert. Now in my Storyline project, where I would normally see a slide, I'm seeing the draw from the question bank. I can click here to view the entire bank of questions. That shows me everything that's in that bank. Or I can click here to see the draw, how many questions there are, if they're random, and of all the questions in my question bank, are they going to be included randomly, always, or never? I'll press Save, and let's take a look at what this would look like from the learner perspective. If I preview just this scene, we're going to go through this as a learner would. I see the intro slide for my final knowledge check. And now when I click next, I see my random questions. If I took this again, I would see a different set of a random set of eight questions from my 17 questions in my question bank. And again, if I wanted to use the question bank for a different purpose, I could reuse the question bank again and again in the same course. I might use it for a pretest, followed by a final exam at the end, or just use it to shuffle the slides so all of my learners don't see the questions in the exact same order.